pictures. This is just, it is not religious, fanatical, anything in our world. We're pe this is to show that we should be covering our noses nice and tight, covering our faces. We are at a time in the world of social distance. I just wanted to give that to some, some time. Talking pictures, welcome. Have not done this in years. Not since we didn't have an audio podcast and we were just doing these which they used to be so much less complicated. You just clicked live, recorded, and went on. But of course, technology is going to save us one day and has, anyways. We are here to talk movies. It is an exciting time, well, for movie watching. Uh, wherever you're out in the world, we wish you peace. Right now I'm watching Waco, which I'm biased to, but I have to say I love because it has Michael Shannon. And I, I, I want to surprise you guys. Check out who plays David Koresh. Uh, anyways, wonderful series. Six of them. I've blazed through four. I'm on my... I also got HBO last night, which is my favorite channel. It has been since I was a little kid. Yes, I would sneak up and watch HBO films when I was like five. So 36 years ago. Uh, it is the coolest streaming service. My gosh, I can pull up on my phone here. Let's see, what do I have that's coming up for my weekend film festival, which I did before the quarantine. So it's not like, oh my gosh, now we got to pick too many things to watch. Uh, I got The Mule, Clint Eastwood. Saw that on my 40th birthday, so it will always be special. You know what? I say that a lot, but movies are special to me. They're in my DNA. My dad's a filmmaker. My, my grandmother loved film. My mother's a painter. So, Yeah. I realized a few years ago, I cannot respectfully, politely, kindly ever answer again why I watch too many films. Everything is copy. Great Nora Ephron doc. Again, this is all streaming, HBO or HBO On Demand or HBO Go. Who knows? There might even be HBO pandemic. <laughs> uh, the Judge, Robert Downey Jr. and Robert Duvall. Wonderful, wonderful film from a few years ago. Flew Under the Radar. Duvall did get an Oscar nomination. It was so great. Of course, it's about uh, the the part of the movie is about a father son relationship. Cake, the wonderful Rachel Morrison, ASC, the first woman to be nominated for an Academy Award for cinematography. We had on our show. There's a perfect time. Go to www.talkingpicturesla.com, and uh, she gave us an interview before Mudbound for her uh, her role. And all I can say is, is Rachel is just as cool before her Oscar nod and etching her name in history books as she is uh, now. Wonderful filmmaker. She also shot Black Panther, Fruitvale Station. Uh, I don't know. We just love Rachel. She's just awesome. She's the kind of person and filmmaker that we are and definitely want to be uh, when we reach and if we reach some kind of status that she has. She's just awesome. Real time with Bill Maher. Uh-oh. Alert. That means where I lean with my politics. But you know what? The whole world is staying inside for safety. So I think if you don't care about being safe yourself, please do it for others. And I'm not being preachy. The Darheeling, Darheeling Limited, Wes Anderson. Oh, man, I'm always going to be biased to the Royal Tenenbaums. And again, I'm not saying it arrogantly. I'm saying one of those people, like, if I talk about it, it's good. But what I'm saying is it's at least worth checking out or knowing about because we strive to make sure we don't bash filmmakers. Our whole team, all 10 of us, have made films. The only one who hasn't is a theater actress with decades of... That's the same thing. It's like saying your cousin isn't part of the family. Ben Affleck's the town. What a director he is. All right, live by night. Uh, gone, baby, gone. Uh, of course, Argo won Best Picture. Uh, winter, but winter. we have top 10 lists about music, Oscars, actresses, cinematographers, uh, actors, music documentaries. Let's just say that Jennifer Lawrence pops up in one of those soon. Let's see. I got Us Loaded, which I haven't seen. Here I'm going to go into what I haven't seen. I found 11 films I have not seen, which is awesome. Not to act like uh, I've seen everything, because that's why I love movies. You'll never see everything. Anyways, 
I'm also glad this mask is working out today because I get so hyper and so spastic that if this is your first time seeing a talking pictures video or hearing about talking pictures, then uh, you're going to be like, oh, this guy's nuts, which for movies I am. I'm completely nuts. I'm insane. Flown the coop with how much I love movies. That I can guarantee you I picked that because of... Uh, okay, the cast isn't coming up, so whatever. Uh, again, Talking Pictures, LA for everything movies. We interview students. We interview Oscar nominees. We do top 10 lists. We cover film festivals. We have panel discussion time with this uh, pandemic. My dog, I haven't seen this, but I have a feeling I'm going to cry because it says it's about a boy and with his dogs. And my little Emma, she means so much to me. She me when I have a certain thing that I go through. Um, she actually helped me in a dream the other night. I dreamt I was having an issue with my uh, thumb and she was there helping me with my thumb. So pretty creepy. Women of Troy about the great Cheryl Miller. We all know Reggie from playing for the Pacers and we won't get into the female male sports debate. We will be having some films coming up on the show soon that address the Me Too, which we've never discussed male directors on the line. And it will be open dialogue because it's time to start talking about things. Uh, but Cheryl Miller, epic basketball player. She would school Reggie. And Reggie, of course, played in NBA Finals, Eastern Conference Finals. Uh, my dad grew up with Reggie, Cheryl, knew Daryl Miller. They had a brother who played for the California Angels. Got some Keanu in here, The Whole Truth. Good Boys from 2019. I kept skipping this movie, but I'm finally going to watch it. Uh, let's see, United Skates, a documentary about skateboarding and urban hip-hop, which I love hip-hop. Shout out to my homegirl from college who introduced me to Common, The Roots, India RE. Uh, let's see. Elvis Goes There. This is on Epics. Get yourself a free trial on Prime. Elvis Mitchell, he is my hero. I've been fortunate when it comes to film historians, moderators, uh, whatever you're going to call them, critics. I'm not a critic, but I review films, film journalists. I've met Ben Mankiewicz. I met Robert Osborne before he passed. I've met Leonard Moulton. In fact, I have a credit on a film that he was in, so our, our name is in the credits together. Not the same card, but uh, and Robert Osborne as well. Uh, but Elvis Mitchell, he's the guy. So I'm telling the universe and anyone out there, look up our website. I have wholeheartedly, humbly say I have the chops and what it needs to be able to talk to Elvis Mitchell. So I'd love to meet him. And then I just got some cool stuff that's free on Prime. I'm on a music kick. Uh, a song for you, Austin City Limits, History, The Last of the Mississippi Juke Joints. Dwayne Allman, Song of the South, The Rise of the Allman Brothers, Allman Brothers Band After the Crash. And then the last one I want to say is, as I wrap this up, Going Attractions, The Definitive Story of the American Drive-In. Check this out. Our friend April, our associate and friend of the show, April Wright, directed it. I had her on for her film, Going Attractions, The Definitive Story of the Movie Palace, which unfortunately had to end its festival run due to this pandemic. So... I have too big of a list here to continue on. If this is your introduction to me, 10 minutes is enough. And you'll also know that humbly 10 minutes is me just warming up my saxophone. So with that, aloha to you all. Peace. And you know what I say, whether it's morning, afternoon, or night, or whatever other time of crazy day you found during this pandemic, make sure and watch a good movie. And heck, I think I'm going to change it to make